Hope you're having a fantastic day right there. It's yet another episode of the Lunch and Learn. And this video is being recorded live on Facebook. So if you're catching this part of the video, you're watching the replay. So I want you to hit number two so that we actually know who we're working with. And it also helps us to tailor the content. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave us a comment. Let us know where you're tuning in from so that we see how far and wide these videos go because my mission is to help entrepreneurs like yourself um you know to set up a reliable business that that is profitable and enjoyable and you will be utilizing uh simple yet effective digital marketing strategies that i will be letting you know about i see amanda holmes is tuning in and mike how are you doing my friend it's been a minute <laughs> all right good stuff thank you so much for tuning in brother hope you've been okay i haven't seen or heard from you in a um, while so let me know how you're uh tracking bro and how everything else is going on for you right so for those that are just tuning in my name is prosper taroinga i see luke moroni is in the house i'm ready for you my man <laughs> Yesterday you sent me on a on a running spree. You know you took <laughs> you take the words right out of my mouth. All right. So if you're tuning in and you're watching this for the first time, I want you to know that I viscerally believe that if you're running an online business, it should be profitable and enjoyable. And I also believe that um, you know if you're a business person like anybody else that uh, we deal with, you should be able to create for and relate to your audience and those people you're going to be demanding money off of. So if you're watching this video right now, send us some love. Let us know where you're tuning in from. It just helps us, um, you know, to continuously put out this content because every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, without a doubt, we sit around here so that we can help you start scale and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable and also so that you can actually create an online footprint and optimize your business for growth and for profit. Now, Luke says, won't be able to listen much today at Lifeline group training session. That's absolutely fine, brother. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leave us some likes, hearts, or whatever it is. It works out perfectly for us. And I see Con Nichols is in the house. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope um, you've been having a fantastic uh, day of celebrations um, and you, you know, you being around with your loved ones. Today, we're going to be talking about four of the most important skills that you actually need to develop and to actually have, um, you know, um, to work, um, you know, so that you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And these four skills undeniably you have to be doing them every single day in order for you to actually start getting at least a few results now we're going to be talking about how you need to be acting on your marketing consistently how you need to be acting on your branding consistently how you need to actually be doing your sales the prospecting the um, the sales presentation part and the actual closing of the sales which i think a lot of people are not doing and they're leaving um you know that part of their business to either outsourcing or they're hoping that their facebook profile or their facebook page is doing the selling for them without them actually you know, maybe picking up the phone or following up on whatever leads that come their way. Now, I see Scott Woodrow is in the house. Thank you so much, my man, for tuning in. Hope everything else is perfect. Have you started your journey yet? Let me know in the comments below. And also, last but not least, all of this creates a profit. All of this creates finances. But if you're not good at handling your finances and if you don't practice the simple rule of you know, allocating your budget, living below, be, and, you know, living below your means, and also having that provision of saving at least 10% of your earnings, you will be missing out on a big chunk of your profitability and how you can actually get that revenue that would help you, um, you know, grow your business. So that's what we'll be talking about today. And if this is the part you've just reached and um, listened to, it then, uh, you know, tells you whether or not, um, you know, you need to continue watching this video. Now, James Windia, thank you so much, my brother, for tuning in. Hope you're having a fantastic day right there. Now, undeniably, all right, as, um, as entrepreneurs here and there, far too many of us want to be the rock. Far too many of us want to be 
Um, what do you call it? The beat and end all. Sorry, there's something that's playing on my computer while I'm sitting here. The, 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 the you know, far too many of us want to be, um, the, 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 the person that does it all. We don't want anyone to think that we have a weakness or we don't want anyone to think that we've got some sort of shortcoming that warrants them to correct us. And guess what happens? We then keep our problems, our struggles all to ourselves. And it's not even helping you, um, you know, be, do and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable if you're not sharing your problems with, um, you know, with other people or if you're not actually admitting that you need certain skills or you need certain, um, you know, uh, things for you to actually have a business that that works out for you. I see Chantal Garrity has just tuned in. Thank you so much. I see most of your content around. Um, can't wait to you know have a chat with you at some point just so that we can see how we have a synergies within our businesses. All right. So like I was saying, a lot of us are in denial, and a lot of us, you know, and, and you know what that actually means. This means that. When we keep these problems to ourselves, we even try and keep them from those that we actually love. And yesterday was Valentine's Day, and some of us are not being open about exactly what happens in our businesses, what we're going through, etc., etc. And we want to appear as if we're strong, and in the process, we then are not told by people around us what we're actually lacking within our business, how we can actually grow, and that stunts our growth. You might have been doing the same thing for the last four years and you're not seeing any results. It's because you're not being open and you're not really looking at what skills you have personally and what skills you lack. And if you do lack those skills, you need to find people that can compensate for that. You know, by us wanting to be strong, wanting to appear as if we've got it all together. I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, we are human. Do you know what I mean? No one wants to appear as if they are not, you know, um, you know, they haven't got their, their, their shite together. You know, we go through all the highs and lows and struggle. And then guess what happens in the end? We start having self-limiting beliefs. We start telling ourselves, you know, that what is holding us back. Um, is, 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 is the things that we're facing instead of just opening up because there's people that have already gone through what you are going through right now. They already have the answers. If you don't open up, if you don't seek out for help, or if you don't seek out for people that already have the results that you're looking for, how else are they going to know that you need help? Do you know what I mean? How else are they going to know that you, you, you need help? You know, like, um, Let's say maybe maybe most of you guys that are watching right now, you're an entrepreneur, you already have a family. If you have a baby that cannot yet speak or cannot yet, um, you know, say what it is is wrong with them. If they don't cry, if that baby doesn't cry, are you going to tend an eye or are you going to attend to them? Because that's the, the, the defense mechanism that babies have. They cry up until somebody comes out to help them. Now, you as an entrepreneur, you can't tell me that you've got your marketing together, you've got your sales together, you've got your finances together. You can't tell me that you've got your branding together. Because if you did, then you will be in the Fortune 500 companies. But the reason why we're sitting here together is so that we can help each other. And the first step for you to become successful is to actually understand and admit what skills that you have and the ones that you are lacking that actually need, um, you know, to be to be um, to be improved. You know, sometimes you might be asking yourself, oh, I get this question a, a, a lot. How do I know if I have what it takes to be successful or to be an entrepreneur? Do you know what I mean? Because this question actually, it, it, it plunges every entrepreneur or every person who wants to start a business. Because at some point in your career, you will look at the things that are around you and you've got a to-do list that goes on for days and you still figure, you still can't figure out how to tackle the first thing on that list. And you know, deep down inside of yourself, you really want to be successful as an entrepreneur. You really want your business to be profitable and enjoyable, but you're not investing in yourself. You're not building the valuable skills that are needed over time for you to actually stand through, um, you know, um, the, 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 the test of time. So if you don't know what skills you should possess and what skills you should be tackling every single day, how are you going to know when you have arrived? 
How are you going to know you're doing the right thing within your business? Because at the end of the day, what might look perfect to you in your own eyes is probably mediocre to the whole world. You know why? Because they've been through where you are. They've seen that maybe you're skimping on your sales, you're skimping on your marketing, you're skimping on your, your, your graphic design. And then you know what that does? It takes away on your credibility. So this video today is going to be talking about what skills should every entrepreneur possess every single day or learn to improve every single day so that they have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I see Tav Shamano has just chinned in. What's going on, brother? What's going on, brother? Can you just type in the comments there what skills you think are necessary for you to do every single day in order for you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable? If you're watching right now, can you just type in the skills that you think are necessary and um, that no one can do without if they actually want to be successful in business? I want to see if um, you know we are on the same page there because some people might not think some things are necessary. Some people might just take, you know, certain skills that they already have for granted and they don't know that maybe they need to nurture those skills. They need to, um, you know, um, continuously make sure that, um, you know, they're improving them, etc., etc. Now, Tav says relationship building. Absolutely. Relationships are what actually make us as human beings because considering we're societal beings, we basically thrive on the support network and emotional support of other people. So that person that you might be ignoring, like I said in the video yesterday, might be the link to your next, um, you know, leads, might be the link to your next sale, all right? So that one is a very good, um, you know, uh, skill, like you mentioned there, uh, tough there for relationship building. One other thing that a lot of entrepreneurs, you know, fail and become a statistic um, especially when it comes to managing their business is actually the ability to manage money. Because if you want to be profitable, if you really want to start, uh, you know, uh, making your money work for you so that you're not just treading uh, water and not moving or you're going nowhere fast, you have to be able to manage your money, you know, personally and even as a business. In order for you to run an effective business, you you have to know where your money is going, what your cash flow really is, like what uh, Taf is saying, and um, um, you know where your personal finances are separated from your business finances. And if you're investing in something, none of those things are all coming in from the same pot. I mean, I was listening to Jim Rohn earlier on, and he was like, if ever you're going to learn anything about finances, is whatever money you make, Make sure you're saving 10% of that so that it will help you, um, you know, in compound interest, you use that for investment. I don't think a lot of people are actually doing much in terms of learning how to manage their own finances so that they have adequate cash flow so that they actually continue being in business tomorrow. You know, because if some people stop working today, how much money have you got that would take your business further more than three weeks, more than three months, more than three years? You know, because it's just one of those things. So I want you to answer some of these questions when it comes to your personal um, you know, finances. Do you know where your money goes each month? Do you know what softwares you're paying for? Do you know what salaries you're paying? Do you know, um, you know, what um, vehicles or what what business expenses are actually going out that first of all you may be able to do without, or second of all you may be able to do in house so that you don't continuously pay, um, you know, a software as a service. Because half the time is when you you start a trial with a product these days, especially all the marketing products, you know, your Stripe keeps getting charged, and are you monitoring all those? $20, $30, $40 that are going out every single month because it all adds up. It all adds up. And once you've got that in check, do you actually make more than you are spending within your business right now? You know? Because if the answer to, 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 to both these questions is no, then you will struggle in business to actually make, you know, any, any, any money at all. Because like I always say, I want your business to be profitable and for you to actually enjoy working in that business. And how does that work for you to be profitable is by you knowing your spending, um, you know, uh, allowances every single month and by you knowing where your money is actually going. 
but guess what? Not all is lost. You know, there are many tools out there that you can use to help you manage your money. But best, best of all, or the first thing really is you need to start by getting your financials in order. First of all, your personal finances. And then as you practice doing that, you know, managing your business budgets and everything else will become easy. And if you can't do it yourself, outsource that because cash flow is the one thing that stops businesses from thriving. You will no longer have money to, to, to implement sales. You will no longer have money to implement your marketing. And then your business goes from grand opening to grand closing. So this is a skill that you need to, to work on every single day by yourself. The ability for you to actually manage your money. Even if you don't have the money right now. Because if you've got the discipline to manage money when the amounts are small, you will be having the bigger discipline to manage the money when the amounts are many. All right. So it's always good to start looking at where you are, what you're actually doing, where the money is going, etc., etc. All right. And like I said, if you don't have, um, you know, the if you don't know where where the money is going, you won't be able to. Um, you know, implement basic marketing. So that's the second skill that you need to learn. The first one was your money. Second one is just basic marketing. Because when you've got your business right now, you'll be doing all of the work from all the departments right from the get go. So that means you need to have a basic understanding of a, a, a bit of digital marketing. And if you're watching this video right now, you would understand that this is what I try and impart to people every single day. So you also need to be knowing exactly how to, um, you know, conduct your own search engine optimization, even just the basics of what exactly it is. Because obviously you need to understand that Google needs to read who you are as a person, as a website, so that they can direct traffic to you. Do you know what I mean? You need to be able to know what mobile marketing really is and how you can differentiate your SEO from your paid advertising. All of those things, those are just the simple skills that will make sure that when you're going into work every single day, you know exactly what is expected of you and how to actually get the results that you're, 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 you're looking for. Because if you're not familiar with the simplest of these marketing strategies, how are you going to know if somebody comes and sells you a shiny object that this is what you exactly want? You know? And if you're not familiar with these um, you know, strategies, you, you, you can just brush up on them. You know, before um, you, you go in to spend money with somebody who's just going to tell you what they think you need. And then there, you're no longer managing your money well. So there's an abundance of tools out there. First of all, you can, you know, reach out and find out how the blueprint actually works. You can type in the word blueprint. I'll definitely send this out for you so that you have a brief understanding of how the digital marketing infrastructure actually works. You know, there's a lot of guides out there on the market. That will help you grasp, you know, that online marketing efforts, your branding, your personal branding and your business branding. And it will help you market your business, even if you're on a tight budget. All right. So if you're just tuning in, we're talking about, you know, just the basic skills, because a lot of people get really caught up in a to do list and then they don't even, you know, take off anything from that to do list because they are not as sure on how to tackle those um, you know, simple, simple, um, you know, things that are needed within their business. All right. So I just mentioned about branding. There's two types of branding right now as a business, you should be able to brand your personal brand and you should be able to brand your business. All right. How many people in the audience right now are watching this video are actively working on their personal brand? If you are, can you just type in the number one? I want to understand if the people that are on here actually understand, you know, what personal branding is. I see Raj George uh, has just tuned in. Zuri say go by Brisbane now. Through Chicago got next week. Miran Chakbat and Dogu Zadu Saga Mira say. All right. Thanks for tuning in, bro. So, like I was saying, you you should have this simple skill of the ability to brand yourself you know these days we live in what is called a gig economy it's no longer where you get contracts that last for for 30 um, years we no longer have contracts that last for for 10 years or five years or three years like what they used to do with telstra when uh, you know you know in the previous day years there 
Nobody wants to be held hostage within, um, you know, uh, within a company. So, you know, we now have temporary and short term contracts. So what that means is people need to know exactly what it is that you do. And if you fit into their program at that particular moment, then they'll pick up the phone and call you up. So entrepreneur, yes, like what Korn says, he's working on his personal brand. Obviously, I mean, I've seen your work, your, your brand uh, shines out and people exactly know that you're involved in real estate, you know? So, you know, you know, um, sometimes if you really look at other people um, that, that are around us, we, we hardly know what it is that they sell. We hardly know what it is that they represent or we hardly know what it is that they actually do, you know? So... Half of the time, you should be able to be distinguished amongst professionals that are in your industry. You know, you should, people should be able to, 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 to poke a stick at you and know what it is that you actually do so that your investors, your followers, your customers or employees actually understand who you are, what you serve and what you actually stand for. And that's how you, 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 you have to be doing every single day, um, you know, with your personal brand. So you need to be working, you know, whatever you're doing, ask yourself, will this matter in five years? Will people recognize who I am if I put this out without logos or without a badge that represents my company? Because some people are working on a brand that hides behind a logo or that hides behind the credibility of, of their business. What if that business stops functioning or it's no longer relevant? Will people still pick you out from a, um, a, a crowd and know who you are? So you need to be working on building your personal brand every single day, just like you would build a business brand. Because these days, industries are being disrupted every single day. So just in case I wake up and some kid has designed an app or a website where it totally takes away my digital marketing um, you know, business, I should be able to stand in the crowd and say, hey, listen, I can help you use that tool and people will still you know, transfer that credibility that I've always had because I've been building a personal brand. So as an entrepreneur, you want to be doing things every single day, um, you know, that, that makes you enter the market a different person and with a strong personal brand that actually stands apart from a sea of competitors. So we've talked about money, we've talked about marketing, we've talked about branding. Now the last thing I want to talk about is sales. All right. How are you making sales in your business right now? Are people actually buying what you're selling? You know, because if you haven't marketed yourself and if you haven't put out a personal brand, I don't think a lot of people understand who you are or know who or trust you enough because people buy from those people that know, like and trust you. So what I'm talking about here today is things that should be on your to-do list every single day. Your finances, your marketing and um, your, 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 your branding and now putting out sales. First of all, sales means prospecting. Are you reaching out to the right kind of person with the right kind of pain that your product can actually, um, you know, um, uh, you, your product or your service has a solution for? Because sales is a tough job. You know, if you don't reach out to the right prospect, you will be spraying and praying because nobody wants, not everyone is your customer. You know, so, you know, but it's something that you can learn because some of us, Nicole, you're not that late. It's okay. We've got six more minutes in that six minutes. I think this will be the best part that you would actually learn. We're talking about, um, you know, the, 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 the things or the four, um, skills that you have to make sure they are present. If you don't have them yet, you have to continuously learn them because at the end of the day, if you're not marketing your business, if you're not managing your finances, if you're not, you know, growing your personal brand, and if you're not selling your services, then your business is not going to work. You know, now Scott Woodrow says constructing our website. Now website is good. But don't leave it too late so that it becomes a glorified brochure out there. Because people 
had the understanding that if you've got a website, then people can just look it up online. But there's so much that you need to do in order for people to find you there. So you want to make sure that you've got, um, you know, the SEO with the website. The website is mobile friendly and it's actually, um, it's actually converting as you speak, you know? So like I was saying now, sales is what makes your business profitable and you actually enjoy working in it. And I can admit it is a tough job, you know? But if you're going to own a startup, you need to be able to be closing deals either every single day or at least you have a target of how many you know, pieces of business do you need for you to actually hit your quota or you for you to actually be profitable or to break even every single month. Remember, like I said, you probably have business expenses. You probably have, um, you know, things that are um, going out every single time. So if you're not having money coming through, how are you going to get the cash flow? How are you going to have, um, you know, the money to pay for maybe you rent out an office space or to pay your employees? Sales is where it's at. But if you're not, yeah, you know, going, I mean, if you're going to be owning your own startup or if you own a business and you want it to be uh, profitable, you got to be closing deals. You know, can you type in the comments there? How many deals do you need to close a month for you to break even? Can you just type in the comments? How many deals do you need to close every single month for you to break even within your business? Whatever it is that you sell. Because you know what? Some people simply think that you can just put out a website or simply hire sales reps for you to grow your business or just buy leads out there, etc., etc. You know, and they don't quite measure the effectiveness of are these people actually bringing in money or are they hemorrhaging money out of the business? Because this is why a lot of startups go under, you know, they go under because they're not bringing in as much as they're taking out. So you see why this is important to have these four skills and you should be monitoring them every single day of your business um, existence. Because if you're not marketing, then you can't sell. And if people don't know who you are, you can't market and you can't sell. And if you can't sell, you don't have cash flow. And if you then have that cash flow coming in and if you don't have uh, monetary skills, then your business goes bust. It goes under. So long before you actually have to sell your product or your service to your customers, you'll have to sell, first of all, the concept of your business to people so that they know, like, and trust you. And then second of all, you need to sell the concept of what it is that you're doing to other potential uh, partners or to potential employees. So there's always a component of selling no matter what stage of your business you are. You've got to be able to sell yourself. And if you've got a personal brand, it makes it easy. And if you're marketing yourself every single day, it makes it easy. And if you know that you're managing your finances, guess what? Your cash flow is in the place. And if there's things that you need to do in order to get more prospects or for you to actually expand on your business, it makes it easier. And that's how you actually get a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You know? So there's gonna how you're gonna have to have some sort of strategy to prospect for the right kind of leads. You gotta be putting out sales campaigns out there that will you know um, prepare you know uh, you to actually be do and have um, a, a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You know, and uh, Nathan Driver, how do you get your hair to look like that? Um. I don't know. I don't know how this is re related to what we're talking about. We could always talk about this a little bit later on. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it, I just woke up and it was like that. So I want you to keep in mind that the most critical, that's why I left it for the last, because people are not selling out there. Do you know what I mean? You should be able to pitch your solution, not the product that you're selling. You should be able to reach out to your potential, um, you know, uh, 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 customers. Because how are people going to know of your existence if you're not marketing, if you're not uh, putting out your personal brand, and if you're not actually selling to them? All right. 
So if you enjoyed this video and you're watching up until here, um, you know, and if you've got any questions, please type in them in, in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to, to field any questions. And if you've enjoyed this show today, please share this. Because for me, it's no longer a popularity contest. Some people are waking up and they don't quite know what exactly to tackle in their business every single day. And before they realize, it's already 4 p.m. and the day is already gone. So if anything you're going to be doing in your business, make sure you have four things that you're actually tackling no matter what. That should be in your, um, you know, in your, in your, um, in your to-do list. All right. First of all, you have to be marketing. Second, you have to be putting out your personal brand out there. Third of all, you have to be selling. And then after that, you have to be managing your finances. And if you can't do all of those things by yourself, seek out help. Because like I said right at the start, far too many entrepreneurs, they want to be the rock. You know, they don't want everybody, anybody else to, to figure out that they've got these weaknesses in their business. And eventually they go under because they're just holding on to something that they thought was or something that they think is actually working. Right? There's always people out there that, that, that will help you. So stop letting limiting beliefs keep you stuck in your business life. Do you know what I mean? Because you want to have a business that's profitable and actually enjoyable. So decide today that today is the day that you're actually going to reclaim your life and actually make that decision and do something different, um, you know, starting on from today. That goes on with your marketing, your personal branding, watching your finances and actually making sure that you are selling to a living human every single day. Either you pick up the phone and, and look at people that have looked at your website, whichever way, pitch your solution so that people understand what it is that you actually can help them with. Thank you so much, Con, for tuning in today. Um, this is it. And if you've got any questions, especially about, um, you know, the blueprint, please just type in the words blueprint. I'll definitely shoot this through to you. And if you're in Australia, which I think every one of the people that are on um, this show are, I want you to um, join the Australian Business Online Directory. This is where most of these videos will be put on. And then so that you can actually, um, you know, Mix with other entrepreneurs so that you can be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. This has been my Thursday edition of the Lunch and Learn. If you enjoyed this, please share this. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave us a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from. But in the meantime, um, let's catch up tomorrow. Tomorrow's show is the Ask and Prosper show. So basically what we do on that show, it's an hour-long segment where I will be answering questions. So if you've got any questions, start thinking them up right now. Meet me up tomorrow at 2 p.m. AEST so that we can, um, you know, um, you know, see how I can help you by actually helping you live, um, you know, with the Ask and Prosper show. In the meantime, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much, um, you know, for, you know, the support that you're giving me, my family and my business. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for the Ask and Prosper show. Bye for now.